Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Dawn of the Mashika, where today we're going to be doing a new game and we're going to be playing as a Firefly. Why not? Let's play as a female Firefly. Shouldn't have any difference in terms of stats or anything, we'll have a slightly different appearance. Fireflies are spellcasters, and as you'll see, playing a spellcaster brings its own challenges and limitations to a point. I'm going to try to go for a little higher luck here, because we want luck, we want quickness, we want intelligence. I'd love to go a little bit higher, but that 8.2 constitution and 9.0 intuition are also pretty nice. So, Nictexta, we'll see how you end up doing here. I'm just gonna go ahead and press space to start. Like I said, I'm, I'm a fan of diving right into these runs. So we do have a different slate of skills than with the warrior. If you watch the Free Play Friday video on this, you know that. But if this is a surprise, if this is a surprise to you, welcome to Dawn of the Mashika, where the uh, mechanics really matter and they aren't all made up. But man, they come as a surprise sometimes. Like these skills here are radically different. Like we will still get swimming. We will still get first aid. We can even take one-handed blades if we want to. We won't, but we can. Uh, spell casting, I'm gonna take two of, and I'm gonna take one level of light mastery. I might not take fire mastery first. I am gonna take meditation because that's incredibly important. I'm gonna take, let's see, artifacts. I don't really have a lot of access to artifacts early, but I feel like that's just something for two skill points. It's not too big of a ask. And if we take some reading and liquid identification, it's fine. Now, fireflies and other spellcasters are incredibly squishy, so I'm not opposed to lumping a few runs in one video if things end up going badly here. But you can see we have the same intro as last time. We have uh, our doggy here next to us, and we have the sun god that has disappeared, and you can see our equipment is pretty different. We're wearing a... Uh, Pili blouse, which is tier one armor. We can wear better armor as well if we want to, and we're wearing a quetzal skirt, and we have a torch. And you can see our our picture here looks the same because we are the legendary warrior, I guess. The more important thing though is that we have magic now. We have light mastery, which we can project light, invoke light, or do an electric zappy attack. And then our magic, which I'm pressing M to do this, fire mastery, so you got to use the keyboard here. We have warm body or fire zap. So one of my goals here is going to be able to find a, find a shield, find some defensive equipment, because we are primarily going to be relying on magic here. So pet the dog for good luck. There is our shaman buddy. And here is our same person here that is going to give us the same jade ring for good luck as all the other times. Now I'll tell you... Um, I'll tell you something. Uh, we don't really need these pole arms because we can't use them because we're a spellcaster. We do have an emerald necklace and I will take the sword just in case I do end up needing to melee things. But I promise you, if I'm in a position where I have to melee things, we're going to die. I'm going to go ahead and take the emerald necklace and wear it because we're three seconds into the video. So look at this. Cursed item right away. Minus dodge and cursed. I told you before, things can be cursed here. So this is a pretty good example here. I'm not going to abandon the run, though, because it's just dodge. And we're not going to get attacked by anybody, right? All right, so stun spores. We'll take another torch and uh, take the dress as well. I don't think we can tear this for bandages. Oh, we can. Um, and we might do just that. Um, terror dart, which should make things run away. Take a rope. Not going to take the bow. Uh, we will take the scroll. Three scrolls of Zegund. And I guess we'll take the sling as well. Can I actually break that pot? Oh man, I can't punch that pot. You meekly, you firmly bash. Oh my gosh, we're this is this is why we're not actually killing things here. But let's pray. Something appears on the ground. We got a mushroom. Uh, you know, we could we could just go on a little acid trip here real quick. I think we're a video too, and we already have a cursed item. Let's let's trip on some mushrooms. That seems like fun. Let's see if we can figure out what this scroll does first, because uh, we're just going to read the scroll. We read it, but nothing happens. Can we examine the scroll? Okay, a slip of the tongue mixes the words inside of you, and you become stunned. Yeah, let's just eat some mushrooms. It's fine. Eat them. Woo! Look at this. We have been transported away to somewhere else. We see an insane shaman. We have our dog still here, so no matter what, that's that's always going to be with us. 
So we have a mirror greyhound on a strange floor. We have a kilobo as well. Um, so first thing we're going to do, ability you need to get very used to in this game, is kicking. You press K, you kick, and things go back. So we're going to use some magic here, and we're going to use some light mastery, and we're going to try to zap you. So press C to cast. Oh, we actually killed a greyhound. So our doggy's going to attack here. Whoa, that guy does a lot of damage. The swift attack punctures our doggy's chest. So let's see if we can get some revenge here. Now I have a 9% fail chance. Wow, something hits you with the jade arrow from the northwest. So we have other enemies over here. Like if we, if we look real quick, we have a mirror rat and this guy's still here. So I don't know if the trippy land is anything you can ever really like defeat. And we are tripping, but it will definitely kill you. Like our left way leg is wounded. Let's see if uh, we can fire zap this. Last time I cast fire zap, it uh, totally destroyed me. So harsh blow leads to its back. Fire mastery. And we're, we're going to die, which is fine. We did, we did try to fire zap and failed, but this enemy is just really strong. So 59 turns, 5 minutes. We got demoed. I guess this is a game too hard. Check out the tips and tricks. It's mostly stuff that we've been over. So we're just going to uh, reload the previous character. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it goes a little better this time. So spell casting, light mastery. We're not even going to do fire mastery here. So say meditation, reading, liquid. Um, evaluate creature, not really. First aid, swimming. Got three skill points left. Uh, artifacts, might as well. All right, so we're back in the town. See, that was a good run. So there's our shaman again. Uh, eventually, the uh, stuff should wear off for all the tripping abilities, but that's what happens when you eat the mushrooms. Uh, we did it, or I did it, so you don't have to, I guess. So once again, we can just go over here. We get a murky liquid here we have a clear liquid as well if we pray you feel capable and better combat your accuracy is better that won't last very long let's see if i can examine the clear liquid here because we do have uh we do have some liquid that is available here well let me let me try this here let me pour over yourself I poured it all over myself and it did nothing. Okay, well, that might have been good. But the fortunate thing here, and you can right click to make this happen, is that we have clean water. So now we have something to drink with from that water bottle. And we have just a little child running around. There's like no sun out and everyone's just like, come out and play. Okay, Jade Ring. Still plus luck. And I got to remember who's actually me here. So we'll, we'll take the sword again. We're not going to worry about the spear throw or anything. We have an amethyst ring, so we're right up up there with our possibility of cursing ourselves here. Put it on the right hand, and it is cursed. Minus stamina. Oh boy. That's uh, one of the worst curses I could get. I, I don't really trust these rings very far as I can throw them. But we'll see if stamina ends up being what kills us. Maybe I can pray the ring off. We have an amber necklace as well. So you know what? Let's see if we can get double cursed. I'm gonna examine it. You identify it. Uh, so there we go. I could have actually identified it to begin with. That probably would have been a lot smarter. So gives plus six bonus to magic resistance. That's pretty nice. There's some bread. Delicious. Let's eat the bread now just so it doesn't rot. So we can keep the satiated bonus. Uh, we're just not going to worry about the mushrooms this time. And now that we know that sun spores create a cloud that will slowly move around the map, we know not to use them in tight places. So there's a blouse accent. We took a spear. It's fine. There's a torch. We'll probably want another one of these. There's bandages. A canteen with a white liquid. We don't know what that is. And fire seeds. All right. And then up here, did I already loot these guys or did y'all just open the door for fun? Poison dart, bandage, torch is good. Mushroom, we're going to leave well enough alone. Only need to trip once this video. Don't need to trip twice, trip better. Now, like I said, in the, like I alluded to in the last run, 
we can press O and we can shout guard this area and these guys will stay here. We're gonna do that. It would be pretty useful for me to like have this place available. As you can see, oh my God, the raccoon's running away from the dog. I guess technically you're trying to guard here. But what I was hoping to avoid was losing out on experience from killing things because I need to get things in here early. So hopefully I get this kill. I might have gotten the kill. No, I didn't. I didn't get any experience for it. So you see already our puppy's injured by a cornered raccoon. So we can go ahead and do this. And a side hit makes it stagger. And uh, that's not great. I'm actually going to have to use a turn bandaging you. Which is not what I wanted to do here. But let's meditate with T because we're about to lose our puppy again. Um, I tried. Let's see if I can bandage here. My quickness is really good so that I can keep using this. So you're both stunned. That's good. Hopefully I get credit for this kill. Yes. That's 500 experience. We're gonna rest up quite a bit. Let you guys just do your thing. And yeah, please go back to town. Okay, I said guard this area. That doesn't mean follow me when you're about to die. So shout again, guard this area. I did not say follow me. You don't want to listen. What? Okay, a feral teenager received... This is a feral teenager. Is there any other kind? All right, now it's stunned, so I don't have to worry about doing things like um, actually getting hit. So, oh my god. The So, I cast a spell here. The feral teenager receives a moderately strong attack here. Unconscious material slips through while casting and botches it. I become stunned and my puppy decided to eat that teenager for 130 damage. Could you please guard this area instead of following me? So that's two kills I could have had and now we know to look out for teenagers. So what I'm going to do here, since we know that we have a slightly different sh uh, swath of enemies right now. I don't have a lot that I can like punch with. Or anything but what I can do is use magic and invoke light and that works like a torch so this puppy just really wants to attack things I guess that's fine can I hit you with the electric zap no I can't because there's no path no light so kitty dog fight who's gonna win magic okay look uh, it's painfully hit I try to attack with the zap but fail let's meditate and once again Dog is eating all my experience. I This is like the early game fights that I really need to uh, make good things happen. I'm going to let this dog get in front because it'll run away from it. Because right now with the pathing right here, it's making a little bit of a problem. I'm going to try to kick. We did successfully kick and now we can zap for 44 damage. Nice. And we have our first water lily. Not as important here. Let's get back a little bit. So your dog's gonna dog's gonna chase the raccoon. And dog just one shot that, which is a little annoying. Dog one shot that, which is pretty annoying, but that's okay. Um this this dog is a good dog, but not a very obedient dog. But you can see already our invoke light disappeared at just the wrong time. Look at all this experience I'm not getting. And I'm just doing one damage. Wow. All the all the kill stealing. I would have probably had a level by now. So if I lose this run, I blame the dog, I guess. Almost feel like I need to take on um, one of these deer that I said I will not attack because it brings bad fortune and bad luck. Okay. Kick. Wow, can't even kick you. Well. Invoke lights. You can see I'm winding through my mana pretty hard, but I did hit it with an electrical zap and actually kill it, so that's a plus. So I'm going to wait here just a little bit. I know this is precious, valuable turns. That's going to, like, fail my speed run here. 
Because, yeah, I imagine speed imagine speed running this game. All right, so once again, there is a rhythm here, and you can target with the mouse. But we don't we want to do more than one damage. So M for magic, A. I probably have time because I'm so quick. Oh god, I just accidentally foraged. Um, which is F. Um oh you aren't wielding any missile weapons here. So I'm gonna press T for my mind to calm down, but unfortunately I had to kick right away, so that literally failed. Okay, so kick again. Meditate, you're stunned. 12 damage. Don't have enough mana. And the thing is, is that if this guy hits me, it's going to hurt. There we go, two damage. I have no mana. There are a few things I can equip, such as a uh, sword or fire seeds. I could try and throw some fire seeds. Set the dude on fire. That might be good. Can actually throw fire seeds at range, which is nice. So you die, and I got experience for that. So, you all know what button I didn't use last run that I'm going to use quite a bit. This run is the five key for resting. It's going to say I don't need to rest. But we do need to restore our mana. Nothing says, hey, I'm having a good day. Like running into a fight with no spell casting ability, right? So, we do take these lilies just because it saves us from maybe have. Oh, God. Where's, where's my dog at? Um, now, the nice thing about this is that if you guys decide not to swim... This is where, like, I'll turn around and it'll be horror movie style. There's going to be a skeleton right in my face. There we go. I wasn't wrong. Okay, can I use electric zap? Not yet. So let's meditate. Let's kick. You're stunned. Good. So hopefully, hopefully this does the trick. That's 20 damage. That's a start. It's on fire as well. Good! Good. Much better start than uh, the Twitch stream I did on this. So spell casting again. We want light mastery again. Um, we want meditation because that's really important. Um, we'll take some fire mastery because it doesn't really cost a lot. And double up on spell casting. Might even triple up on spell casting. It's just that important because it is our uh, replacement for actually like attacking. I will take one handed blades one time. My strength isn't great, but it does exist. So yeah, I think I will do spell casting again. Like it's literally how we fight. So just wait around. The puppy has finally decided to guard the area. So unfortunately, you can see my mana has gone up by a lot. And I can't chop up that corpse. But as we move around, hopefully we don't run into like too many bad enemies here. Okay, there's a, there's another lily up there. Maybe two. Oh gosh, way more than two. Okay, don't want to swim blind. That's one of the great ways to get killed in this game. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and eat uh, this one before it rots. But you see, I don't have nearly nearly the life pool here, so I gotta I gotta watch my health. The ideal here is having myself not get hit by uh, enemies that sneak up on me, but this is this is a little dicey right now. All right, but I will I will heal over time. So we're going to back up once. This guy's chasing me now, and let's just see if we can zap him. You see, I have a lower chance of failure because I have increased spell stuff here. I can project light and kind of make them light up, or I can invoke darkness, which literally makes me shoot darkness out, but there we go. Spell fizzles. And uh, I can't kick like that. I can kick like that. So if we meditate one time, 0% chance of fail. 26 damage. Nice. There's a snake that we can kick. Meditate. And it had a failure even though it, they, the game promised no chance of failure. 
but I guess there's still a resistance check here. So let's see if we can actually set you on fire. We do have incinerate as well, which is literally just setting the enemy on fire. It's entirely possible that those snakes are resistant to lightning, so that's something to keep in mind. We're just going to wait here until our mana bar fills up. Because the early part of this game is all about getting some levels. Everything in this jungle area should be fairly easy to kill. Okay, can't can't rest that long. Alright, so purple lily. Okay, so we've got we've got some health concerns, but electric zap. Hopefully I don't zap myself. Okay, I waited so that I could kick you. Because I kick a raccoon. And electric zap again. And I fail. Really. Kick. Meditate. See, there's a pattern here. And if you go through the tutorial, you'll see this as well as that. Sometimes your spells do... Uh, Raccoon's whole body shakes with a spinal column, flashes, and ignites, and sometimes you just hit for one damage. There's not a lot of in-between here. I am going to bandage myself, though. Might as well have some life here, especially if I end up getting surrounded on accident. And that's arrows down there. So I'll chop you up for food. All right. There's Mr. Snake, who's asleep. Might actually be able to hit you from here, yeah. 135, the Kwikwi Coddle is mercilessly, uh, mercilessly electrocuted on vital zones. Flames arise. Yeah, we're a, we're a firefly, whatever that means. We set you on fire. There's a skeleton down there. There's axe there. There's enemies I don't care about over here. We do have, we do have a whole unexplored dark area. And I do want to try to get to level 3 if I can. It is a pretty big power spike, but because I lost out on so many early fights, I'm not sure. But if I get more of these undead guys, that's going to make a big deal here. I'm going to try to incinerate this guy. Because if I can set him on fire, and I did, that's going to do a lot of damage over time. I failed at kicking. Good. That's actually a little scary because... um. I don't have the Berserk skill. Wrong button here. I'm trying to electric zap. Um, because if this guy hits me, I'm pretty much dead. So there's 20 damage, and you're stunned. Hot smoke and light baffle the lesser uh, Zitsu and me. 13 more damage. I think we have a moment to meditate here, because you're still stunned. So we should be able to kick you again. Nope. Fail. 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 Yeah, just kill them. Yeah, because those those skeletons give a lot more experience. Oh, there's our puppy. I told you to guard the area. You're you're not a guard dog, it turns out. Uh, now, one of the spoilery things about this game that I learned from watching the developer is that, as we do seven damage here. Oh, so the dog just kills it and steals experience again. Um, and we have another we have another skeleton here. Can I actually hit you with incinerate? Yes, maybe. So you're on fire. Um, and we did manage to stun you and electrocute you. Um, is that you do need your dog to live through the early part of the game. Um, so that gets to be a problem if the dog gets killed. Um, the back shakes and uh, shakes from electric shock, so it's dead. So we've got a lot of skeletons out here. We've got some unruly teenagers. Um, if I press my rest button here, is it going to say I don't need to rest or that there's enemies around and I can't rest? Okay, well, I don't know how to track. There's nothing here I can take, so we just wait. And we have a dog attacking something. We have three of these lilies, so we might as well eat one. I don't have a ton of mana, though. So whatever it was, it's dead now. He killed another skeleton. Good dog. I guess. Taking all that experience away from me. I mean, I'm level two. So I can't be that upset. And we're actually a little cold. 
Fortunately, we have a spell for that. Fire Mastery, Warm Body. Ah! Love the love the sound effects here. Like sound design, it it can add so much to a game. It doesn't have to be like biggest best detail ever, but I see uh, I see a little deer. I do not want to smack the deer. So dog is still attack is still following me. Dog really really just wants to go on an adventure. And it just wants to kill and take all of my experience. The little life lessons I was supposed to learn along the way. It just wants to take credit for itself. So like, I'll invent something and the dog will be like, I made this. All right, so we're back at full mana and you can see 20 mana makes a big world of difference versus other things here. So dazzling sparks and you're dead, cool. Go ahead and take this, we're slightly wet. I love how it says we're drowning whenever we swim. I guess technically swimming is controlled drowning. This is bad. I just rounded a dark corner and uh, we got to kick, kick the dog to zap the dog. That stuns him, which is really nice. And uh, blast illuminates the surroundings. So got to eat another lily. Like you see, I'm trying to avoid using my mana as when possible. It's one of those things where even though I can't illuminate myself with the spell, doesn't mean I always want to. Oh shit. All right. Where are you, pupper? Fire mastery, incinerate. Good. I thought about meditating there. I think I will meditate here just because I want to make sure this electrical zap does its thing. So he's still going to try to attack. Uh, the skeleton's right leg is electrocuted and she falls down. Well, we know it's a girl skeleton. And now we have a burning skeleton and now we have a dead skeleton. Now it's random what kind of enemies we get early in the game here. So I've never seen like a feral teenager before. Maybe there's something I can do to recruit the feral teenager, like give it a dried meat or something. But I didn't start with my little grasshopper cakes either. So, okay, this is a little too far to explore up here. Oh, and that's why. Okay, good dog. Let's see if I can just zap you this time. Whoa, 62 damage. That probably wasn't for me. A dazzling light uh, stuns here and we hit it. And uh, we, get a, we get credit for the kill this time. Oh, but wait, there's more. Who's attacking you? Cause somebody's hitting you real hard. Something's hitting you real hard. My two blue lilies rot. That's not a surprise. Um, somebody is like blasting you. I don't like it. But I can't see who. Okay, there we go. We gotta save our dog. Meditate. Okay, we're, we're trying to lightning zap. There we go. And we have more skeletons coming, so I have to disengage. All right. Let's see if I can get it here. My mana is at 20. That's not great, but I don't know if 20 mana is enough or 12 mana is enough to take on two of these. So my dog's trying his best to be a good pupper, but I'm getting, I'm getting winded. I'm losing experience here. Okay, 27 and you're on fire, so you're dead. Okay, dogs, dogs not doing great, but it looks like it's not getting attacked anymore, so. My first aid skill sucks. Okay, there's our mana back. Let's eat the green lily before it rots. So you can see the winds driving north, so enemies north of us will know that we're here. 14 mana is probably okay. So we got a lot of skeletons. Those are like experienced pinatas. If I can catch them before they catch me. Which is kind of a big concern. Alright. There's a sleepy boy. Let's meditate because we can. And we're going to try to lightning him. Boop! 50 damage. Dazzling sparks confuse it because it's dead. Okay, we got a, well, we didn't get a stake. 
Do we have anything we can eat? I got some bread before, but I think it rotted. Um, we'll figure it out later. Surely there will be another enemy I run into that I can um, turn into steak. Oh god. That was uh, actually very risky because I wasn't sure what I saw this out. That's one of those things that I said in the last video. Just really need to be willing to take your time. 150 damage. The Cossetul's hind legs shake and melt from flames and sparkles. That's uh, that's pretty good. Did we art? We cooked you. Can we cut you into a steak? Nope. Not this time. Maybe I need to up my foraging skill for that. That seems like the kind of thing that would be covered under a foraging skill. So another water lily we want, but we got to kick the, kick the bad puppy first. Actually managed to stun it. So that's good. And it's uh, on fire now, so let's double tap it. And now we got a steak. Uh, I didn't pick it up, though. All right, so you can, once again, you can hold from the inventory and, like, push shift I... Okay, there's there's our dog again getting into all kinds of trouble okay not that there we go so two blue lilies one of which we eat immediately okay uh, this i'm loving this because it says i see a skeleton but it's not the shambling undead because i'm always like oh god it's one of those enemies that has like a weapon and i have literally no defense so rounding these corners is always like a exercise in terror. Whoa! Fast chest strike hits this guy, so we kick a raccoon and hopefully we can get some revenge. Okay, we failed the flame zap. This time we vaporize its eyes. The eyes. They glow. All right, so rip our dog. I tried to get it to not follow us, but it was just too loyal of a companion. And we see a sleepy thing that we just woke up by walking like a moron, so kick it, bop it. There we go. Maybe setting it on fire is better. Um. All right, let's see if anybody else decides they want to mess with us. And there's another lily over there. So there's just more desiccated meat. We do know it's down here. This is kind of a risky swim because I don't have a ton of health. Okay, but we need to, we need to eat another one. All right. Okay, two deer. We don't want those. I'd love to get another level before we go to the next area. But I don't know if that's happening. Now, the last time we went to the next area, which we're going to after I uh, get my stamina back, Oh, we immediately got hooted. Nice. Um, last time we were here, I did myself in. We'll try to avoid doing that this time. That's bad. You're asleep. You're not asleep. But you come closer. Kick the cat. And we failed. And we're stunned. All right, so if this gets bad, we can always take another entrance. But my goal is to have those hoots take uh, that guy out. So 12 damage is good. You still can't attack because you're stunned. But I failed at kicking. There we go. Let's see if I can set you on fire. Nope. Strain, you manage the magical energies which run through your nerves hurting you. You become stunned for 12 turns. Okay, well... Can I leave this area while stunned? Yes. All right, so we're gonna um, wait here because strategic retreat is definitely a valid strategy. There should be another entrance right here. Um, we're gonna eat this blue lily because we're about to, um, probably should have waited until I maxed out my MP, but 
Okay, so we're here now. So we know there's a kitty cat over here. Um, hello kitty. Stun kitty. There we go, you're on fire, asleep, and stunned. That kitty's having a bad day. All right, we need, we need more spell casting levels. Light mastery, meditation. Uh, we, first aid is pretty important. We'll get a level, well, I got a level in one-handed blades. If it ever comes to using one-handed blades, we're probably in trouble. This is probably the time for a mental resilience because we can start running into spell casters here. And so I guess this means, um, get another level in meditation. And I can start upping my uh, fire mastery next. So we're gonna take we're gonna take our damn time through here. Like I leveled up, I got a lot of experience. I might as well use it. And this is where the turn counter definitely sometimes does its own thing because I've had runs where I have a bunch of turns and runs where I don't. We have our clean water here, so let's go ahead and quaff it can actually refill this here with the dirty water for now. If I find a clean water source later, we're not going to be swimming through there because we don't have enough life to do that. All right. Okay, there's a there's a hoot hoot. That's asleep. Let sleeping owls sleep. Cuz as you saw last time, there are a lot of enemies around here. But it is nighttime and these things are sleeping. So we took the scroll. Can we read the scroll? Can we read this scroll? Yeah, identify a scroll of fire zap. Nice. And the hooting stuns us. So we want to avoid that if we can. This is a problem. Because this owl is in a position to stun me. We do have light mark on this. All right. Hooting stuns the ocelot, so we are surrounded by owls. One damage. 25 damage. Good. So the thing is, is that I don't want to get hit by anything, really. But Look, there's just somebody left some rigid cotton pants on the ground. Now, I can't equip cotton pants. There's nothing stopping me. It's just tier three, so it will affect my quickness. And right now, I need my ability to move. Like, I, I, prior, I value that more than maybe some other things. Okay, there's... I think there's a light source up there. Oh, bees. Can we kick the bees? We kick the bees. And we stun the bees. And uh, we lose, we actually failed on the spell. There we go, 44 damage. We brutally electrocuted the bees. Sorry to any beekeepers out there. This, this video is not meant to be offensive. All right, so more, more lilies up there. The nice thing about this magic light is that hopefully things can't detect me as well. Like it's not gonna wake up enemies. We have a chance to meditate, might as well take it. So it's 29 damage and a stun, and then 42 damage. Savage, back, electric shock. So we have something up here. We have another swarm of bees. Wanna see what this is. A broken stone floor, a swarm of bees. And um, where's my uh, view button? I said I will contextually do this sometimes. I don't know if that's a water lily over there or something, but. We're gonna try to take out these bees while I can. Hopefully, possibly we kick bees again because that's just what we do on this channel. You see a swarm of bees, you kick it. That's just, that's just the solution here. Oh shit, it's a lot of enemies. All right. Let's see if I can set you on fire. Okay, so maybe everybody will pay attention to the raccoon that's on fire. Because my concern right now is that um, I don't have, like, 
Might as well wield this. Um, you're stunned. Okay, we want to back it up. Okay, you died. So that's good. I don't have a ton of stamina right now, so I need to back it up. I don't have a lot of mana right now. Okay, first, first time getting attacked in this save. That's that's not terrible. Oh okay, shit, we have bees as well. All right, so we're just gonna. These guys are all gonna come around to the side. So it's just the way it is. We're still exhausted. Whoo! Good time for a crit. Bee swarm is mercilessly electrocuted, up and down, and burns. Okay, so I've gotta, I've gotta get these hits in. Um, that's not great, especially because I am low. I'm, I'm losing stamina in a hurt. Oh shit! Bleeding from the throat and stunned for five turns. This might actually be the run right here because I can't kick while stunned and my right arm is dying four turns three turns two turns okay wow we're actually faster than a cat I don't even really care that I ran into bees right now I'd love to hide here because uh, let's see I need to use the herb plaster on myself Okay, I just ran myself into a corner. So this is where we make our stand. Okay, we're gonna meditate, because I have to. And we kick, because we have to. Good, got the stun. Fizzled. Okay, that's not great. You're stunned again. Um... That didn't work. Okay, so kick you again. I mean, I, I ran myself into a corner here, so this is kind of my own doing. Um, let's see. I don't have a lot of things that I can do. I can do fire thing again. Okay, so you're on fire. Um... I try a terror dart. Oh, I have to I have to quiver it. That's not great. Okay, um fire mastery. The only thing I can do here is hope that I get a stun. But yeah, I'm just failing at the electric attacks here. Okay, are you not attacking me because you're on fire? Oh. Maybe maybe you've got me actually in a corner. So I'm just about out of stamina here. And I don't have a ton of life left. I'm just about out of mana. I feel like I have to... Oh, I can't attack. Oh, it died from fire. Good. Um, Alright. So there's the electric zap. That's, that's a great failure. And now we have Owls of Terror. This would be a great time to actually, I don't know, hit with a spell... That's uh, that's not what I want. Okay, so I'm stunned by bees. Okay, we can't see anything anymore. So that's nice. I'm gonna use some more fire seeds over here. Maybe I need to uh, once I get unstunned here. Let's use some fire. Fire zap. Okay, it fails. Whoo! Receives a brutal, low, blazing wound. Well, that's exciting. I went from being just about dead to mostly alive. I'm currently sitting in a corner, crying myself to sleep. Um, I do have my left arm that's wounded, but because I used my one plaster, I'm okay. I'm gonna give myself a little more health. Um, I don't think the game's gonna let me rest with that owl moving around. So yeah, not while I'm not while I'm stunned. 
I hope you like owl sounds. Because we're going to get a lot of owl sounds here in just a minute. And uh, let's go ahead and eat the other purple lily. I think I actually need to eat the green lily first. Yeah, but um, I hate doing it like this because it seems like this is a great way to uh, have my run fail in a few seconds the next time I play this. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here because I think this is an interesting point to stop. If I do end up crashing and burning within five seconds on my next part of the run we'll just dive into another run so feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments like i said i definitely did some things wrong but at the end of the day i did survive i did use some of my resources that are available to me and uh, i don't know what all these scrolls are i may have uh, infinite chances to try reading them i don't know it's not like attacking me for trying to read them so i don't know for sure but this is Asher with uh, Dawn of the Machina Mexica. I did it again. I did it last time. I did it again. But this is a game where, fortunately, if you do want to stop, you can just hit the exit game button, and it will automatically save for you. So that's going to be it for this one, and we will do this again soon, and fit, at least, if nothing else, finish off this run. But this is Asher. Definitely check out this game on Steam. Uh, I'd appreciate any comments or likes you want to put, if only to... Uh, help promote this game and get it to kind of be fed into Google's algorithm because it released in November of last year, about three months ago from the time of this recording. And uh, I've seen a, I've seen a lot of comments from people who was like, A, this game looks really interesting, but B, this game is really intimidating. So hopefully looking at some of my mistakes here, people can learn and more people will give it a try. So that's it for now. This is Asher. Thanks for watching Curse of the Mexica. We will do this again. Mexica. I'm never going to pronounce that right. That's why I have a pronunciation guide sitting somewhere that I need to make a cheat sheet of even more things. Dawn of the Mexica. Good. I'm going to stop rambling about that and let you all carry on with your day. Thanks for watching. We'll do this again soon. Take care.